Hi, today I'm going to show you how to shuck or remove the internal hard drive from a Western Digital Easy Store 8TB external hard drive. Inside this external drive is a Western Digital red drive, which normally costs about $280, but this external drive has been found on sale for $160. Removing the drive from the enclosure allows you to combine multiple drives in a NAS or server to create even larger storage arrays. You're going to need something to open the box. I've taken an old gift card and cut it into four small pieces and one slightly larger piece. You'll need five pieces. You'll also need a screwdriver with both a Phillips head and a Torx screw bit. So we're going to open the box up. Hello. And here is the Western Digital Easy Store 8 terabyte drive, USB 3, a nice external hard drive. But we are going to take the drive out from inside it. So to start out, we're going to flip the drive with the connectors on the bottom. And we are going to take our four pieces and we are going to insert them as such. in between the case and the bottom piece. And you'll notice that they are staggered. And that's where the clip locations are on the inside. Once that's done, we're gonna flip it, take a look at the bottom where the serial number is. So we've got our tabs here. We're gonna look at this edge right here. We're gonna insert that last piece of plastic as such and give it a little wiggle and you'll feel it move a little now and we've got a little larger gap there. Now we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the top. And just like that, the whole top piece slides out and we find our red drive inside. Now to remove the drive from the shell with the label facing down, there is a connector side and a non-connector side. We just lift up on that non-connector side. And now we've removed the drive. A few more pieces to remove. You'll need your torque screw bit to remove these four posts with rubber on them. And we'll need to remove this one Phillips head screw here to remove the board that provides the USB interface. this screw right here. And this piece of plastic is just inserted into the other screw hole. If you pull up, it comes out. Remove this board. It's connected to the SATA connectors here, so just pull it out and away. And that is a bare drive ready to go in your NAS.